Michael Yow Show. So when somebody becomes a hostage, you know, is there a certain time length where if it goes past this mark, it's too late. We're not going to, we're not going to get them. Is there a certain like length of time in that? Uh, it depends upon how it gets set up up front. Mm -hmm. you know, we, we used to have to read, and this is just negotiation. This is just reading what the other side is going to do based on what they say. These exact same principles apply to personal relationships, business relationships. We're working on another case in the Middle East where they make it look like negotiation, but they set up an impossible condition in advance. Uh, Al Qaeda was doing this in 2004 quite a bit. They were saying, like, if you don't get all the Americans out of Iraq in 72 hours, we're going to kill the hostage. Well, look, even if the U.S. wanted to get all the Americans out, they couldn't do it in 72 hours. That's an impossible task. You had to know in advance whether or not it was an impossible task. And then you got to be willing to tell the truth. We came back and we said, like, even if we wanted to do this, we couldn't. And you know that. So you're not negotiating. You're setting us up for failure. I get business people coming to me with the same problems. They're like a, a medical company about a year and a half ago. People on the other side of the table, this guy, all he does is call us names. It almost seems like he, he doesn't want to make a deal. And I said to him, that's exactly what he wants because of the changes in the healthcare system due to Obamacare and then the Republicans coming back, proposing legislation right and left. Nobody in the medical community knows what's going to happen. This guy's not trying to make a deal because he's too afraid of the future. He's just buying time. You got to say that to him. Mm -hmm. So in the business world, what is there one through line from negotiating with terrorists to the business world, to personal relationships, a through line that's kind of the same in all of them in negotiating? You know, what drives us as human beings is what the through line is. And there's certain things that certain ways that we react that it doesn't matter what your gender or your ethnicity is, you've got a wiring in you called the limbic system, which you got because you're human. It's just like the respiratory system and it works pretty much the same way. It's, it's like asking me, can a paramedic save me? The same paramedic could save me, could save you. You're a different ethnicity than me. You grew up in a different environment. And the answer is yeah, because the physiology is pretty much the same. We now know from neuroscience that the emotional wiring Everybody's got the same components in their brain. There's Nobel Prize winning uh, economics, Danny Kahneman, prospect theory. All human beings overly react to loss. Not men, not Westerners, not Christians. All human beings overly react to loss. And it's actually at least a ratio of two to one. So you start from that with an understanding of how people tick and then that, that's the through line. Okay. So, so loss is a big part. And loss is the overriding oh, driver of human decision-making. It's not the only driver. It's just the overriding driver. And, uh, you know, let's, let's go back to the Vegas analogy. Like I want to know what the odds are, you know, what's the best card that will win for me most of the time loss, bang, I'm playing that car. If that's a Trump card, that's what I'm going to use. I don't understand the whole, you could be at a table in Vegas and they're like, you're not going by the Vegas rules. And then I look around at all the casinos and I'm like, well, the Vegas rules of building <laughs> all these hotels. So obviously the Vegas rules aren't working for us. What game do you, when you, when you get good, what table do you want to sit at? Oh, you do want to sit where everybody knows what they're doing. Or you actually, here, here was the answer I was fishing for, because this is a okay. great, great Val Kimmer line from Tombstone. You know, that, that was a movie I got a kick out of. You want to sit at the poker table because you're not playing against the house, you're playing against the other players. Got you. Okay. 